Reggie fils Man. Uh, I'm, I, this frustrates me. But let's just get into what happened. So Reggie fils has been ha- doing a slew of interviews. He's kind of back in the media after being out of the media almost since the launch of the Switch, really. I mean, he was around a little bit back during E3. But for the most part, Reggie has not been doing a lot of PR or interviews or events for the Switch since launch. Maybe that's because he's been focused on efforts in Japan and trying to encourage uh, supply chains to get improved. And blah, blah, blah. I know Nintendo has other employees to do it. But since Reggie kind of got promoted, uh, he's got other things to do besides just be the big PR person in North America. Anyways, in an issue of Forbes, uh, they did uh, Forbes magazine did an interview with Reggie Fizame and asked him what Nintendo Switch's online is going to look like when it launches next year, the paid service, not the way it looks now. Here's what Reggie said. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it's going to look like. We'll share more about that next year. But what I can tell you is that our vision is to have a robust online environment that not only provides the mechanisms for you to have your multiplayer experiences and matchmaking, those elements are minimum. Our goal is to provide that extra Nintendo twist, and that's what makes our company historically so effective. We don't do things the same way everyone else does. We relish being different. We see that difference as an element that makes us more compelling to the consumer. And so having that differentiated experience is what we are focused on. And we'll unveil more next year as we're closer to the launch of the service. Oh boy. So he's not telling us exactly what's going on. So everything I'm about to say now is going to sound like an overreaction. And I know that. But this is very concerning to me. Now, realize I understand Nintendo's online service is going to be cheap. We're talking $20 per year. I'm going to pay that because I'm going to want to play multiplayer games online, and that's going to be locked behind a paywall, just like it has been on other systems in the market. But, I mean, when he talks about the bare minimum being uh, multiplayer experiences and matchmaking, that's not the bare minimum. That's like (laughs) below the bare minimum. The bare minimum not only includes that, it also includes clear communication, being able to message your friends, lobbies, standardized voice chat. That's all these things that the other companies are doing are basically the bare minimum of what an online system should be in 2017. Now, beyond that, Nintendo could do something beyond the bare minimum, add more value, more whatever, their own Nintendo twist, which they've already done by making you voice chat through an app and that app sucks i'm sorry i'm just gonna come out and say it i know full functionality hasn't launched on it yet supposedly at least we believe full functionality hasn't launched on it yet we really don't know because we're not nintendo and we have no idea what they're thinking but uh the voice chat they do have in splatoon 2 is terrible it sucks and now that the switch supports usb headsets and technically wired headsets because you can use a U, uh, bluetooth dongle through usb or through the headphone jack port i think at this point it's time to uh mwah, kiss goodbye that application in terms of it being required for voice chat but what do i know i'm just a person who's been online gaming for basically most of my gaming life since the mid 90s uh nintendo they have Reggie's correct in one way. Uh, They don't always go with the trends that the industry is currently in. They like to be trend setters. And I think that's what Reggie should have said is instead of doing whatever else does, they like to set trends and then have everyone else copy them. Uh, That happened with the Wiimote. That happened with arguably the D-pad. That happened with shoulder buttons, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not giving credit like, oh, my God, Nintendo did all this stuff first. No, but Nintendo standardized and popularized it in the wider Uh, community of gamers and then other companies adapted that technology to their own uh, methods of controllers in this case Uh, i don't think that nintendo knows what they're doing if i'm being honest here the problem i have with nintendo wanting to uh do something different wanting to what's the say here uh they relish being different and so we see that difference as an element that makes us more compelling to the consumer and so having a differentiated experience is what we're focused on i here's the thing nintendo and and i'm talking to nintendo here forget uh, i know you guys are listening in and i'm talking directly to you but i'm sorry this message is for nintendo and for reggie fils before you do something different get the basics right 
I don't think that's much to ask. You can't try to do something different when you've never ever in the history of your online experiences on 3DS and Wii U and Wii and DS have ever had a full online experience that comes remotely close to your competition. When you talk about doing things different than your competition, first you need to be able to match your competition with that functionality in the first place. The fact that Netflix isn't launched yet, that Hulu's not launched, uh, makes people think, oh, maybe that's going to be locked behind your service. Even though the other companies, when they did that, decided to stop doing that because people complained, why am I paying to just watch Netflix on Xbox? I'll just watch it on something else that doesn't charge me money on top of the money I already have to pay to Netflix. So Microsoft and Sony are like, hey, we're sorry, we're not going to keep that behind a paywall anymore. Is that what you mean by something different? Going back to the ancient ways of doing things? Uh, And again, we don't know that that's going to be the case, but I can't think of any other reason those apps haven't launched then. Otherwise, the Switch has a video app in Nico Nico launched in Japan that's basically their YouTube I I mean, come on. If they could do it in Japan, there's no reason that YouTube and Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime and all these video on-demand services have not launched on Switch besides Nintendo just telling them you can't. Sorry. You're, you might have it ready, but we don't want you launching it yet. Wait for our online service. Uh, it's going to help you a lot. I don't know how it's going to help you a lot. But there's that to consider. On top of that, uh, we've never had a way to directly message people. Um, well, I shouldn't say never. There was there were some methods in the past, but we don't have a, a great way to directly message or a great way to make lobbies, a great way to voice chat across games. And if you talk about doing something different in that you're not going to enable any of that and you're just going to focus everything into that application and force people to have to drain their batteries, force people <laughs> to have to use their phones at a time when phones are starting to take away headphone jacks um oh man this is gonna be a mess uh it's almost like nintendo's behind the times right as phones are starting to take away the headphone jack i know that doesn't mean you can't use headphones or headsets with with your device but it's becoming more complicated to use the ones that you probably already own especially if you're getting newer devices nintendo's decided hey we're all in on this medium that people are already starting to struggle with i uh, I just, I don't know what they're thinking. I think all Nintendo would have to do is actually offer the bare minimum. And that's not the ability to play games online because they've given us that over the past, you know, decade. We've been able to play games dating back to, like, what, Wii and and what Wii Mario Kart or something? And I, I know there was an online adapter, actually, or a modem thing you could get for the GameCube that lets you play, like, Fantasy Star Online. I... The bare minimum isn't enough, especially when the bare minimum on this matchmaking stuff doesn't necessarily cost Nintendo anything because they could do it all through the Call of Duty servers or the the individual servers for each game can handle all that traffic and it doesn't cost Nintendo anything, so why would I be charged for it? The reason that Microsoft and Sony get away with charging for it is one, because Microsoft has just always done it, so it's just always the way it's been with them, and two, because they offer services and experiences with their online system that sets them apart and makes it so yes we are paywalling the ability to play online but in doing so we're giving you all this added functionality on top of what the games offer you and if you can't even give us the bare basics of that functionality you can't let me message my friends or even have achievements of any kind uh, or virtual console at this point and you're just going to cut us off and say, look, we know what we're doing and we know what we're doing better than everybody else. That's what you thought when you put the TV button on the Wii U. That's when you thought when you launched the Nintendo TV service. Hey, uh, we're not going to actually run real TV through your system like like uh, Microsoft is doing. We're going to give you this all-encompassing system. And here's the thing. I actually think the all-encompassing t- like Nintendo TV idea was really, really cool. An idea to combine Netflix, Amazon, uh, and Hulu all into a single search. Uh, so I actually thought that was great. Oh, I want to look up a movie. Let me look it up through a single service and start it through my preferred service. I actually thought that was great. Unfortunately, it didn't work very well because maybe the hardware couldn't handle it at the time. Maybe it was just a poorly crafted application. I don't know. And then you have the dedicated TV button as if people need it. I use that dedicated TV button all the time. So it's really weird to hear me criticize it right now. Just in my head, I'm like, oh, really? Am I criticizing something I used? Uh, but it didn't need to be there. It, w- it was Nintendo. 
makes baffling decisions at time. When they talk about different, you already are different. You have the only like successful hybrid platform in the world right now. The only one. There is literally zero direct competition for the Nintendo Switch. So you don't need to differentiate beyond what the Switch already does to differentiate itself from the rest of the gaming world. All you have to do is just give us the basic functionality of an online system that everybody else has. That PCs and phones and playstations and xboxes every system has this bare basic functionality and if you're going to cut that out and try to use your unique spin on it which you think makes consumers more compelled to use it uh when actually your nintendo voice chat app has made people less compelled to even attempt to voice chat during it or even compelled them to be like hey look we're just going to use discord because it's a heck of a lot simpler and we can have lobbies and talk cross game everything is solved by using a third-party application that costs us nothing um nintendo 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 and I understand people are going to think, I'm raging over nothing. You're right. We don't know anything. And I want to be proven wrong. But, man, it comes to online, Nintendo's risk-taking, Nintendo's ideas have never been great. We're in 2017 and we're using friend codes. Just think about that. They got rid of it and then they brought it back. They thought for some reason bringing friend codes back was a good idea. This is the Nintendo that we're trusting with a paid online service. We're trusting a Nintendo that decided, hey, look, we're going to put voice chat on your phone. I just, this is a Nintendo that couldn't even put a headphone jack on the Pro Controller or on a Joy-Con so you could just listen to the game while sitting on the couch through headphones or for an on-the-go platform. I guess I understand having the headphone jack on the unit, but like when you're at home and you're docked, it, it's more complicated to use a headphone. I, Oh, Nintendo. Reggie, and and all and one of Nintendo, I want to cut you guys some slack. I, I want to give you guys a fair shot at this. But, man, you have a lot of proving to do. If you're holding back this service for this differentiated experience, and that differentiated experience basically just makes nobody want to use your service, uh, yeah. Sometimes you just don't ignore your consumers, man. Don't ignore what everyone else is doing. Uh, sometimes that works well for you. I think the Switch I itself, what it is, was a calculated smart risk. I don't think what you're doing with online is a calculated smart risk when you have zero track record of ever getting the bare basics of online correct. In fact, it, 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 some people might argue until the Switch, uh, it was really hard to even play games online. Think of all the lag people experience playing Smash Bros. on Wii U and 3DS online. Um, and that's what people are going to pay for a service like that, man. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffajets from the Gender Prime. Let me know what you think about this in, in the comments below. Do you think, uh, like Reggie, they need to do this big, unique thing that's, that's very Nintendo with their online service to differentiate it and make it, uh, I guess, what does Reggie say? More compelling to the consumer? Or do they just need to focus on actually getting the basics of an online system, a paid online system, correct before they worry about trying to tack on uh, things like the phone app or, or new these quote-unquote new ideas they have? Uh, let me know. Obviously, I've been against what they've been doing with their online ever since they announced that app. And now that it's out there, I'm even more against it. But... Uh, you guys let me know what you think. Obviously, I'm not the be-all, end-all here. We're a giant Nintendo community. Maybe you guys have a, some ideas here that can make this work uh, or a way that Nintendo can do this and still have that basic functionality that Reggie didn't actually include in the basic functionality of uh, what they think they need bare minimum. Anyways, I'm Nintendo RoboJance. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike the video, that's all right. I understand. Hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content. And I will just catch you in the next one.